All right, hello, and welcome to Party Like a Pro Part 4. Um, we're going to break this up into um, several smaller sections to make it a little bit easier to get through today so you're not watching one giant video. Um, so this, um, this part is all about knowing your audience. Um, so in our first segment, we are going to talk about the size of your group. Um, the average Tupperware party has five to six people at the average Tupperware party. Remember, you want to have your hostess invite around 30 to 40 people, and that's what's going to get them their five to six people at the party. All right. Um, events, however, can range from as few as five to as many as 100 or more people at an event. Um, so for those, those kinds of things, you want to definitely um, plan separately for that. What we're going to focus on in this um, Party Like a Pro series is really that in-home party part. Um, and then we can do separate training on events later. All right, so small groups of between three and six people. With the small groups, you can be more informal and really communicate back and forth with your party attendees, asking lots and lots of questions and getting responses back from them. One of the nice things here is that your party guests and you can really start to form those relationships and can get to know each other, um, both, you know, really get to know each other. Individually, individual personalities really shine through when you have the smaller groups, which is nice. Um, find out not only about their product needs through questions, but also their personal needs. Um, a, is Tupperware a good fit for them as far as the job opportunity goes? Why do you feel that Tupperware would be a good fit with them? And then of course, share your thoughts with them. All right, small groups of seven to 12. Here we start getting a little bit bigger group um, and that's gonna require you to have a few things in place to help you keep the group's attention and to help refocus them back to what you have planned and not just chit chat. Um, Hands-on activities are definitely a great way to do this, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys utilize recipes during your party. It demonstrates the Tupperware product, it shows it in action, in use, so it's not just you talking about the products, it's them being able to see, feel, and touch to really know that it works. Um, if you need some recipes, feel free to contact me or your upline, um, and we've got all kinds of simple ideas that are super yummy that we can get you. Um, this is a nice size. I really like this 7 to 12 size. Um, and I try to encourage my hostesses, like I said earlier, to really work toward 10 adults at her party. That's one of the goals that I give her. And her and I don't count. So all together, we would have 12 with her 10 adults plus me plus her. Okay? <clears throat> now, you will have parties occasionally that get quite a bit bigger, 20 or more. I think the largest party I've ever had was 32 people at the party. Um, yes, they really do happen, but with this groups like this, you definitely have to keep things a lot more formal. Um, you can't quite be so free-for-all with the conversation. You really have to um, keep everything directed or you're going to lose them. Um, visibility can be an issue, especially with groups this large. Um, so be sure to hold your products up nice and high and pass them around so people can feel, um, feel them, see them, touch them, all those good things. Um, do what you can, best as you can, to keep their attention. Help refocus them back onto what you want to talk about and on not so much on the smaller uh, conversations. One thing I do find works really well with this is I do something um, like a presentation for the group as a whole, and then I'll break out the groups into smaller sections. So, like, let's say we have 20 people, then I would break out those 20 people into four different groups of five. I'd give each one of those groups one of our products, and I'd say, okay, find this in the catalog, and I want you guys to come up with a few ideas on different ways that you could use this. What would you use this for, and why would it be so great in your kitchen? And then have each of the groups present what they're talking about. So they're doing part of the presentation for you, which is nice, and it keeps them busy and occupied so that everybody stays focused and engaged, okay? It is important to communicate with your hostess ahead of time so you know if you need to be prepared for 20 or more people at your party. Not only do you want to make sure that you have a plan in place for how you're going to handle it, but also you want to make sure you just have enough supplies. Okay, 
All right, so that's where we're gonna end this video. Um, your question for this one is what are the, the major differences between the three different types of party sizes? All right, so go ahead and answer that question, fill that in. The entire worksheet for this entire video is posted in the comments below. Um, so feel free to print that off, fill this in, um, or if you want, you can um, you know, type it in on Adobe if you have that ability. All right, so go ahead and fill that in, and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thanks.